All right. Next on the agenda is... Violent Eyes of Flying. We want to get our Seeker Bolt out. Because these monsters here, if they see you, if they establish line of sight, they fly towards you and explode. So it's actually hard to fight them because you can't really look at them. But, if you have Double Magic and Seeker Bolt, you can just do this instead and kind of cheese ball this level. Get him, get him! Thank you. I don't know what that Seeker Bolt was doing. It's like, eh, I don't feel like it. I'm just going to fly circles if that's okay. What's really funny is you can soft lock in this level if you're not paying attention. This is a movable block, but it's only movable on these two squares. So if you push the block back where it started, that's it. You're, you're trapped in this level. But, I mean, you can just restart the level because at that point you already have the, uh, the fairy bell. But the rest of these guys, we don't actually need to fight at all. And you can't. There's no fireballs in this world. You can just kind of... Metal Gear on past them. All right, then. Look away, look away. The final chamber is open. They have no idea where I am because they have only eyes and not ears. It's going to be a clockwise maneuver through this room here, and we should be fine and dandy. Just like so. We are done here. We'll see those nerds later in another level where we can actually kill them, and that'll be fun. Let's make sure we save here, just in case. Okay, so in this little maze-like area here, we have the second... Did I spawn on top of a monster? It's the second random room. Wow! Twice in a row we spawn on top of a monster. We spawn on top of a fire trap with a bomb monster near us. That's great. That's fantastic. Oh, that guy's gonna kill me? I need to find some shots when I need. get some. If you look at the top right of the screen, you can even see that it's very subtle, but the font between these spells is different from this one. Because Life Serial has a particular font that it uses. Oh, there's him. You know what? We'll just deal that damage. That's fine. That was probably the, the safest way to go about this. Well, kabonk, we've done... Oh, there's a shot power in the room with the flaming man. Well, I can cast life, so... Let's grab it and get out. And just like the forest random level, we will try to be careful about this. Wow, I don't know how I'm going to get in there. One shot at a time, it looks like. Oh, I guess he's dead. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this magic drink now. The monsters should get stuck on walls, perhaps. Ow. That's fine, though. As soon as we get to the magic drink, we can life it on up. Have us some cereal. Alright, we got another charge of it now, too. Okay. Now we can fight Bat. Let's start clearing out some of these rooms. That was a lot of really inauspicious starts. There's some health drink. And just like the forest level, we'll eventually have really amazing firepower, but you can never tell when you're going to get it, because it is random. Which I think is a cool idea, these levels. But I'm glad he doesn't 
use this trick more than twice. There's only the two randomized levels in the game. I think more than that would have been way too much of a thing. Nope, nope, you can shoot me from there. Even though their shots are much fatter than yours, I think they have the same hitbox as your shots, which means they can partially clip through walls that your stuff cannot. Hey, there's some health, there's some tears up. Very, very good. No, we can't cast again, though. Oh, I should've went back for that green drink. I shouldn't have cast it there at all. Oh, well. There's blue drink up here that we'll take. Now we're killing pretty quick. Ooh, I don't like this situation, though. We gotta take down these bombos one at a time here. With skeletons possibly harassing us. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Get some greenies. I just murdered your brother. You came back for revenge. Yeah, we've got access to plenty of green drinks, so we should be okay from here on out. Don't have a green key, though, but here's a switch that is stuck. Who knows what that switch does? We need another switch hit first, and then that one will unstick. I think that's how it works. I'm just gonna wander around randomly. There's way more rooms in this one, too, and they're they're smaller than in the forest. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a hundred separate rooms in this level. I actually built a dungeon something like this, except for the randomized elements in RPG Maker once. There's my exit there. Two of these guys. I actually patterned it, at the time I patterned it after Zelda 1, where you have like individual rooms and they kind of scroll back and forth. So the scrolling was actually the part that I paid most attention to. I like when the water rooms in this dungeon generate in the corners, so I have to actually walk through them. So there's no danger I'm actually going to kill myself while just wandering around like this. But in the RPG Maker software I used to use, getting anything like this to be randomized would be an astounding difficult task. I think I can think of some ways to do it using RPG Maker 2003 is what I used back at the time. But my god, it would not be fun. Um, hey, I like this. Check in the room to see if there's a little sewer trap dragon guy, but there's not. So just grab that. Whoa, okay. We're starting to really come down to the wire on health. Let's backtrack and grab some of the green drink I left behind. Skelling man is in the way. Okay, he's gone. There we go. That's much better. Uh, we might as well just do this, because this is a dead end, it looks like. Uh, do this button here. We just want to turn all these pink. Something clanked. Probably that switch that I couldn't hit earlier is now unstuck, if I had to guess. Gems are looking pretty real right now. In addition to everything else, we've also got the fairy bell on this level we have to be sure to take. Ka-chunk! Okay, so that's done. We've got to go through that trap room. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. That's the opposite of cool. Hmm. 
that oh hopefully we get some magic potion between here and there although I may have used all the magic potion there's a health potion here in this little room that we can get into now mana potion but not enough to cast with Woo! Okay, we probably gotta come in at an angle, right, to get some shots in the room. No, 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 no. I'm not taking damage. All their fire is kind of staying localized in that room. And I can just barely attack them. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. We're still making this work. I'm. I am being a little reckless, though. There, we got him. We got him. We got him. We're fine. All right. Don't fall into the water. Okay. We're cool cat bad, but we haven't gotten the fairy bell out of this level yet, and that should be up this way. a mild, pleasant sojourn up to the top of the level. Wait. Wait. I don't know where the fairy bell is. We'll find it. We'll get there. There it is. It's down there. Let's not fall into the water. So the way you put in cheat codes in this game is you just type them out on the keyboard. And I don't have any of them on hand right now to use. Oh, right next to the exit. That's actually really handy. But yeah, there's, there's cheat codes to give you, like, infinite money and all kinds of other stuff. How are we doing? We got three of the four fairies here, and we got to get... Oh, there's a fairy right there. Nice. Monsters, leave me alone. Healy Fairy. Beautiful. Oh, no, I don't want to be in here. We need to go... There's another fairy! <gasps> How lucky! We got Smarty Fairy. Welcome to the ballroom. Okay. Here's what we're going to do in the ballroom. We are going to wake all these guys up. Go above them up here. To get all those diamonds. We do need to wake all these guys up, otherwise it becomes We do want we want them following us. We want them to like leave their post there. Grab all those diamonds. Get back down here. Grab all this stuff. And then Go crazy. You know what? No, I can't do this level yet. There's an item I need to buy first. That I almost certainly can afford with 1200 Let's make a note of what I need to buy. And then we'll just do the farming in the ballroom. We need... First of all... Uh, we need the shooting socks. So we can fire while we move. We need... Let's see. So we need 800 for the heart pendant. And 750 for the sun amulet. 800 plus 750 equals 1550. So once we have 1550, we will be done with the ballroom. But now that we can shoot and move at the same time. Wow. I can actually complete this level. Alright, so we want to wake all these nerds up. And go up here and get the diamonds. Get stuck. <laughs> Get absolutely trapped in the center of the room. Should put on Inferno in case that happens again. And we got three diamonds there. Let's heal up. Alright, grab reverse gem. 
get everything, and now we are a just moving death machine. And as long as we thread ourselves in between the oculoid fireballs... So what you can do here is buy the magnetic gem, so you don't need the heli or you don't need the the grabby fairy, and then augment some other power. Like there's one that where monsters drop more gold or have a chance to drop more gold. The problem is you have to save up for the magnetic hairband to make that work. So, and this is a good way to farm, but it's not perfect. Like you still, it still takes a little bit of time. So any farming you do to buy the magnetic hairband is just farming you have to do again later. Anyway, so as far as I and as far as I can tell in my experimentation with it, the uh, the extra gold you get from the monsters is not that extensive anyway. There's a book we can get. We got to kill all the monsters in the ballroom first. So for now, we'll just grab our green orbs. So, so this is a fine way to get money in this chapter, but it's definitely not the fastest way to farm. The best way to do it that I found is in New Game Plus in the spider level. Because you can imagine the spider level if I had these shots, how much fun it would be. And it is kind of fun, just firing the shots and mowing down just this army of bad guys. That's all the level is. It's just a wide open space with bad guys everywhere. Is that it? Is there anybody else out here? Alright, we got the Energy Storm spell, which is this. And we're going to continue playing this level until we have 1550 to buy our last two items that we need. Wow. Whoops, didn't mean to do wow. that. But if you don't wake these guys up, what tends to happen when you come back down to pick up those other objects is... They like to stand right on top of them, and then you can't get them. Whoa, that's... Not good. What has happened here is not good. Not good. That was a bad run. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. I want everybody to just go back in time and not watch that. If that's okay. Come on, wake up, nerds. Alright. I'll take the one hit. That's fine. Alright, we're good. And I want to try to make my way back to the center so I trigger as many of these monsters as possible. But the priority is staying out of the way of the Oculoid Fireballs, otherwise that happens and you take a bunch of damage. But there is plenty of healing in the corners, so to be safe you could make your way towards the corners and heal up. It would be the safe way to do it. Why would you do anything the safe way though? And I guess the Zambos just die too fast that they don't get a chance to charge at you. I guess that's all that's happening here. So yeah, you make a couple hundred bucks each trip through the level, but you do have to get the green orbs every time. I can't just kill the monsters and leave and kill the monsters and come back. I feel like I'm missing one of my energy orbs. Did I not pick up all of them? I only picked up four of them. So yeah, I'm not... There it is. There's all my shots. Alright. That was very slightly perturbing, if I may say so. I'm cool, get bad. Shoutouts to Johnny LaRusic for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon. Run away! 